Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your leaf springs in your truck. Now this truck here is a 1990 Ford Bronco, but this technique will pretty much work on any truck out there. It's very similar process along all the manufacturers. Now you should always replace your leaf springs in pairs. So I'll be replacing two leaf springs today and I'll be doing them at the same time. So let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is jack up your truck. Now make sure to set both your jack stands. Next, remove both your wheels. Next, remove the sway bar end link nuts. We're going to be replacing these bushings as well. Next, remove the lower shock mount. And then detach the shock. Now with the axle still being supported by the jack, loosen all of your U-bolts and bring them all the way up to the top. Do not remove them, just for now we're going to loosen them all the way up to the top. Now make sure to lower the jack slightly so the frame is resting on the jack stands but that the differential is still being supported by the jack. Next, slowly lower the jack to separate the differential from the leaf springs. Relieve the pressure on the leaf springs but do not completely lower the differential. Just make sure they are separated. Next, loosen the rear shackle bolts. Now the front mount is torqued down like there's no tomorrow. So grab your best cheater bar and go to town. Now finish removing the U-bolts. Now while supporting the leaf spring, remove the front shackle bolt. Now support the leaf spring in the rear and remove the rear bolt. Now you're ready to remove your leaf spring, but first make a notation of the orientation. This particular model here has a support block underneath the spring, which is a triangle shape and the bigger side faces the rear while the smaller side faces the front. This also has a clamp on the leaf spring which also faces the front of the vehicle. So you can take a picture of your orientation and now you can finagle the leaf spring out. Careful because it's very heavy. Now as a side quest, I'm going to be replacing these rear sway bar end links. They're really worn out since these are original to the truck and they're very easy to replace in this situation since everything's already been removed out of the way. Now you can replace these as a whole complete unit or just the bushings themselves which is what I'm going to be doing. So let's get started on that. So just pop out this top bolt here. Now I purchased the Moo kit that just comes with the bushings themselves. They're very good quality and they're made in USA. These here are the lower bushings so these are pretty easy to install. The upper bushings are a little bit trickier to install. You have to actually remove the bushing from the original sway bar link which is fairly easy to remove. I just use a socket to collect the old bushing and another socket to press the old bushing out into the bigger socket. And I use a table vise to do it. Now preferably you're going to want to use a mounted vise. This one's not mounted so it's going to be a little tricky for me to use. Make it easier on yourself and use a table mounted vise. So you just fit it in there like that. 
and then go to town. And once it's all pressed out, it'll just be loose like that. And now she's ready to rock. Now install the rear link. But keep it a little loose so it doesn't fight us when we install the differential. Now clean your leaf spring area here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure it has a nice clean surface to mount on. And this is that triangular block I was talking about earlier, but give this a good cleaning as well. And you can see here it's actually marked front. Alright guys, so now we have both the leaf springs out. This one here for me is the driver, that one there is the passenger. So the old ones have a little bit of a sag to them. Mine weren't really that bad. They weren't broken or rusted out or anything, but they were actually sagging. I mean, it's got a good at least about an inch right there worth of sag. Plus, the bushings are pretty worn out. You can see them here all dry rotted and everything. Now, I could have replaced the bushings themselves, but as you can tell here, I have a pretty decent amount of sag, so it was best for me to replace the leaf springs in general. Now, here towards the rears, you can see we had to remove them with the actual shackles attached. You can see these shackles here are pretty much spent already, so it's time for some new ones. And luckily the new shackles come with new bolts, so we're going to attach those on there right now. Now I got these springs from Dayton, but they're actually manufactured by Stanley Springs and they're made in USA. So these are really good quality springs and I can't wait to put them on. Now the shackle kit that I got came with a new shackle and some new hardware as well as a bushing for the rear leaf spring here. But I'm not going to need that bushing, so just install your shackle. And again, keep it a little loose so it doesn't fight us on the install. Alright, now here comes the fun part. We're going to muscle this leaf spring over the axle first. Now that the spring is resting on the axle, we can install the rear shackle. Just give it a snug fit for now. Now line up the front hole and install the bolt. Don't torque it down just yet. Now make sure your triangle block, or whatever block you have for your truck, make sure it's installed in the correct fashion and the pin is lined up with your leaf spring. It's still loose right now, so if you need to jiggle it around, make sure that pin is nice and lined up to ensure proper fitment. Now it's very important to note that you need to use new U-bolts every time you do a repair like this. You cannot use the original or old U-bolts because they are stretched and they are fatigued, so they will not work properly. So make sure you put on new U-bolts. I actually ordered a set for this job and they sent me the wrong size. So I'm going to be reusing these momentarily until I receive the new bolts. Make sure you use new bolts. Now just finger tighten these top bolts here until we get everything lined up. Now slowly pick up the jack and make sure everything is lining up correctly. Now just pick up the jack a little bit and keep your eye right there on the pin. Make sure it stays lined up. You might have to finagle the axle back and forth a little bit, but start tightening down the U-bolts. You want to tighten them evenly. Once you have everything here lined up and you snug them all up a little bit, just give them a couple of taps. Just to square out the U-bolts. Snug them up a little bit again. And now we can lift up the differential and let the suspension do some work. Give it a couple more taps. You just want to make sure everything lines up in its place. Do this to both sides and continue snugging down the bolts evenly. You can see I'm taking out the slack here. 
I'm not tightening, I'm only snugging. Now do it to the other side as well. And again, a few more taps. Now it's all getting into place here. Now keep repeating the process until you have the body off the jack stand just a little bit like that. Now just finalize everything's nicely centered and torque them down to spec. Now I like to torque down the shackles with the suspension loaded. Now torque down the rear shackle. Install your rear link bushing and tighten it down. And don't forget to tighten the top bolt. Install the shocks. Next, put the tire on. Remove the jack stands. All right guys, so that job's all done. It really wasn't too bad of a process. We got both springs replaced, shackles and bushings, and the truck is sitting a little higher than it did before. I did actually measure it. It was at a 35 and a half from before, and now it's sitting at about a 36 and a half, which definitely gives it a little bit more of an aggressive stance. Now I'm sure the springs will settle in, in time. So if this video helped you guys, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.